Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rick Creating. I know I haven't posted in a long time. I apologize, but I have a really good one for you guys today. I'm turning Chip Hazard into Butch Meat Hook. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so, um, brand new video. <laughs> I know a lot of you have been waiting for this for a long time. I apologize. I've been really, really sick. I got sick for like almost a whole freaking month. It sucked. But anyways, um, so yeah, here's Chip Hazard, and I'm gonna turn him into Butch Meat Hook, as you guys saw in the intro. Anyways, uh, this color for his pants is like a mustard yellow and a beige color mixed together. So that's what I used: mustard yellow and beige. For his pants, and um, there is a um, army green that I use for the belts for all the belts for all the soldiers, so it's all the same color. And uh, as you guys can see on the vest from um, Chip Hazard, I took off the bombs and the little uh, walkie-talkie that he had on his chest. I took them all, I grind them all off with the rotary machine. And so I just sawed them off with that, and yeah. Um, you guys saw my live footage of this thing. I did a live video one time uh, before YouTube started taking away the live videos for for some people. I don't know why, but I can't go live anymore, not for a while at least. Um, but um, I showed you guys previews of this guy's boots. A lot of you guys guessed who he was, which was good, but um, he's finally here. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> by the way, I still have a cough, if you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, it's painted out the boots. Um, I figured that this guy was the best one because it had the similar features as Butch. And um, Chip Hazard had similar features, so I figured um, I could turn Chip Hazard into the Butch Me Hook. So that's what I did. So of course, I just have to paint him a little bit darker because he is a black fellow. Um, you're gonna see that I paint the gloves too. I don't show me painting the gloves, but I paint the gloves like a, a lighter skin tone. Uh, to match the skin tone it has now that way when I repaint the whole skin as you guys can see there I painted the gloves um, to match kind of the skin tone that he has now that way when I paint the whole thing it'll match completely um, the reason why I painted the, uh, the the vest or the chest area and the back green is because I'm a visual person I like to look at stuff the way it's going to turn out um, I like looking at it. Um, that's why I'm messy most of the time. Most of the time, you see my stuff, and it's kind of messy because um, I just like to visualize what it's gonna look like at the end. So I paint my stuff, even though it's not a finished product. I'm still gonna put uh, polymer clay to fill up the chest and all that stuff. I just want to see what it looks like before, it, you know, before I work on it. So. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, I'm a little messy with it at first. And then, um, just the little patterns on the pants uh, was ridiculous to do. <laughs> um, at first, I started going with whatever patterns I saw in the references that I had. I googled him up and I saw a little bunch of patterns. But like I said in my previous videos, um, this whole... They had so many different... Um, uh, mock-ups of the same character right to make the movie in order to make the movie they have a bunch of different copies of the same character and each character or each each print that they had did not have the same prints on the pants and they were completely different so whatever references that I had on the internet were all different and so I just went with whatever looked good uh, most of them are the same pattern as one particular reference picture that I had and then the other one the other ones I just winged it so I mean it still looked good I think it still looked good so that's what I went with um, so this is me painting the the browner skin 
and um, I really didn't like the way it turned out this skin so I had to keep going layers and layers and layers until I got the right color and then I got too dark and so I had to lighten it up a little bit as you guys will see towards the end of the video I lighted him I lighted him up a little bit better or I matched the skin tone a little bit better with you know what it looked like in the movie um, so see now the hands match the rest of the body because I had pre-painted that hand because the hands were originally they had gloves and they were originally black gloves so I had to paint them the same color as the skin so anyways this guy took me I don't know like almost two weeks to do uh, to the finished product um, as far as sculpting and everything it took me like, two weeks to do uh, this part of it with the part I'm going to show you guys today um, took me like a week and a half maybe um, it, it just it I thought it was it was gonna be one of the easiest characters to make or to remake um, out of another character but boy was I wrong <laughs> this guy this guy was pretty hard to make I can, no kidding <laughs> so this is a helmet that is polymer clay um, the color of the helmet happened to just be that type of color uh, I didn't choose that color just because it matched I, it just it's just a polymer clay that I had laying around and I had no use for it so I was like oh, I'll just use it for this guy basically shaped it to the shape of a helmet just to fit his head and then I took it off and then I sculpted it a little better to shape the the helmet a little bit better make it look like a helmet more than a beanie because right here it looks like a beanie <laughs> so I had to go looks like a gangster like a, what's up guys what's up is he? <laughs> But anyways, uh, here's the helmet already cooked up, nice and hardened, and I'm going to do the strap around the helmet now with this, just flatten it out, strain it out, and then wrap it around the helmet. At this point, the helmet's already hard, so it was easier to make that way. You can tell my hands are all painted. So anyways, this is a pattern on sleeves which took forever as well so I won't show all of that <laughs> it was, you know, literally be a whole video just showing you showing you guys how to make patterns on shirts or the pants because it took forever to make these patterns and I had to go over and over and over again because for some reason the brown wouldn't show on the yellow and so I had to keep going over and over and over and over again. I, I probably, there's probably like four layers, maybe more than that, four or five layers of brown paint on the sleeve and on the pants. So I had to keep going over and over and over. And over. All right, guys, so uh, this is what I have so far. Um, I tried the polymer clay. It was basically polymer clay. And then I just heated it up with, um, with the air blower. Or the hair dryer, I should say, a hair dryer, and uh, and it worked pretty good. It's nice and solid, except here because of the clay that I had put earlier. I had put a play-doh uh, to fill in the holes because I had to scrape off all the uh, bombs that he had here. Um, so I scraped them off and it left a big old gap here. So now I don't know if you guys could see that, but now he has a big old hole in his chest. So now I have to fill that up completely and then go over it again with the more polymer clay and then go over this with more polymer clay and then as far as the helmet the helmet's there and then uh, repaint the skin because the skin looks a little too dark for me uh, it doesn't look exactly the same as the one it does on the on um on the movie so i'm gonna lighten up the skin a little bit and then uh I'll go over these because the brown for some reason it doesn't take the brown as well on this on this tone so i have to redo the brown so and then paint his vest and we're basically almost done with this dude all right so uh, i put some more polymer clay on his chest to cover up that big old hole that i left um, i'm just trying to blend it into the to the rest of the vest and smooth try to smooth it out some that's what I like about polymer clay is that you can smooth it out really good with your fingers 
Um, the super epoxy that I use for his face, it's a whole different situation. You need lighter fluid to uh, to make it look really nice and smooth, but that's a whole different time for a whole different video. But anyways, um, this is the rest of the shirt. He has uh, a collar on his shirt, so I had to, so I had to just uh, wrap uh, some polymer clay around the shirt and just um, model it to make it look like an actual collar of a shirt. And this is the buttons part of the shirt. This is where the shirt meets and he has buttons on it. And so I'll put the buttons on in a little bit. I just try to make sure that the shirt was nice and straight. And I will fix the rest of the shirt later on. You guys will see that in a little bit. I just want to show all the process to it because it would this video would be way longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> That's right, this video is 20 minutes long. And so I didn't want to make this video too too long, so um, I didn't want to show everything that I did to this guy. Um, so these are the buttons, squeeze them down, and then made a little hole in the middle for the button. That way it looks like an actual button or the button that he had on the movie. So these will be the pockets for the shirt. Uh, this is more polymer clay. Like I said, the colors don't matter. It's just the polymer clay that I, I happen to have around. So it's what I used. Uh, so I just cut the little part where the pocket goes over uh, to cover. The cover of the pocket, I should say. And um, the little buttons I'll add to it. This particular polymer clay was so hard to work with because it's so, so sticky. And then he also has this little zipper thing that he had. I wasn't going to add it on, but I was like, uh, should I? And I was like, I might as well have some polymer clay left over. So I was just like, why not? So I just threw a little bit more detail into it, you know? Why not? Go above and beyond. So that's what I did here. A little zipper that he has on the side. So everything was all hard. I heated everything up. Um, you can't put this in the microwave, guys, because the plastic will melt. So I had to heat it up with the heat gun that I had that I showed you guys earlier. And so I started painting it just to get the right colors. And this color was the. It matched more with uh, the movie than any other color that I had. So. That's what I went with. I think I had to lighten it up a little bit with the color that I had. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it matched pretty well. And um, I had to do the spots all over again. Those the spots um, were like a darker green. At first, I thought they were gray. It looked gray in the movie, but then I kept looking at it, and it was it was. A darker green and so now I'll paint the helmet the same color because that's the way it looks in the movie <laughs> so um so yeah guys if you guys are watching this video please don't forget to subscribe um, I know a lot of you guys watch my videos over and over again for some reason you guys don't subscribe I don't know why I'm trying to get this uh, this channel up on subscribers as much as possible because I gotta start getting paid to do these things I am gonna start selling these things by the way not now I'm gonna make a, an eBay page and I will start selling my stuff and um, um, it ain't gonna be too cheap guys because like I said these things took me like two weeks to make two weeks I can't sell these things for very cheap you know what I mean and it's just the time that I put on behind these guys it, it's, it'll be it wouldn't be considered right to sell it for so cheap you know what I mean I, I'm, I am trying to make money off of it I'm not making any money off of YouTube itself because um, there's no ads running on my on this channel so it's like you know in order to sustain this channel I have to start making money or else I just won't make any more videos and that will suck for everybody you know what I mean especially myself. It would suck for me not to be able to make videos for you guys. Because I enjoy doing them, but if I'm not making any money off of it, I, I can't do it, you know what I mean? So, um, 
I do have a donation page for, for whoever is interested in donating. Um, I hate asking for donations, but if you guys consider doing it, uh, if you guys see in the beginning of my page, um, you guys will see a little PayPal thing on the right hand side corner. If you guys click that, you guys can transfer money into my PayPal account. As much as you guys want to donate, every little bit helps. And, and you know, God bless you for it. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys could do that for me, that'd be so awesome. If you can't, don't worry about it, guys. I'm not. I'm not saying that you have to do it. Please don't take it that way. Don't do it if you can't do it. You know what I mean. But if you guys want to support the channel, that's one way of doing it. The easiest way to support it is by hitting the like button and subscribing to it, because that way I could get, I could start making money off of YouTube. But anyways, enough of that nonsense. I think we are completely done, guys. And yes, we are done. <laughs> so we are completely done, guys. Um, I just repainted the face, but I will re-sculpt the face on another video. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because some of you just wanted to change your Chip Hazard toy into a Butch uh, Meat Hook toy. And this is the simplest way to do it. Um, you guys just want to repaint them. I think it looks pretty cool like this, just like this. Uh, you guys don't want. If you guys don't have to go above and beyond like I like doing, because I like I like putting detail on my stuff. So um, I'm gonna fix the face, the beard, and all that stuff, and also his um, his cleats at the bottom of his uh, of his boots. Uh, he does have spikes at the bottom of his boots. I started doing it already, and I'm gonna show it to you guys in a different video. If you guys are interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you guys can get notified as soon as I make that video. Um, and you guys will know about that. But the reason why I'm stopping right here, guys, is just for that simple reason. Because you guys don't have to do all this extra stuff to um, make him look like a like Butch Meat Hook. Uh, you just have to basically paint him to make him look like that. You guys don't even have to do the chest piece. Um, it, that's completely up to you. All you have to do is just paint him to make him look like uh, Butch Meat Hook. And I think it, lo it looks looks decent for somebody that wants to get it done as soon as possible and this is the easiest route to go the easiest way to do it um, this is it like you don't have to go any further than this but if you guys do want to go further and make the the spikes on the feet and sculpt his face uh, like I say stay tuned I will make a separate video for you guys for those who are interested in that or if you guys just want to look at it because it's an interesting video to you guys or you guys like small soldiers in general uh, stay tuned and I will show you how to sculpt his face to make him look like the original one. Anyways, so far, just the way it is, I think I like it. Um, if you guys haven't seen my channel, go check it out because I do have these gremlins and that uh, uh, slushy soldier that I made with uh, polymer clay. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it does help me out a lot, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because that also helps me out. And hit the little bell notification that way you guys get notified the next time I make a video or when I make the video of this guy when I make his face and finish him off completely I'm gonna show you a little a little extra video I'll show you how it's already done because I'm already done with it I just have to edit the video uh, let me show you exactly what it looks like completely finished with the cleats and everything all right guys so there's a little sneak preview of what he looks like sculpted so there he is nice and sculpted if I could focus on him he has this little card right here I don't I'm not sure what it says on the card if you guys know what it says on the card or what kind of card it is let me know uh, I just drew a little piece of paper right there because I thought it looked really cool and then that's the rest of him this I'm gonna change I'm gonna fix that up strain it out and everything so don't worry about that and that's his little spikes or his cleats on his boots and there he is guys completely done side by side with his partners with his partners in crime uh, let me know what you guys think i think it turned out pretty freaking cool if you ask me by the way he does have hair <laughs> so he's not completely bald well i don't know what he looks like underneath on his real movie one but that's what he looks like for me but anyways if you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to hit the thumbs up guys i appreciate that very much um, if you guys want to support the channel, check out my PayPal. Um, if you guys, whatever you guys could donate, I appreciate it very much. If you guys can't, please don't do it. I'm just asking you if you can. 
go for it. If you can't, don't do it. But anyways, I want to show you who's next. Here's a little preview of who's next. Maybe you guys can know who he is. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys could guess who he is. And he is coming up next. So stay tuned for that. Hit the bell notification so you guys can get notified the next time I make a video. For now, if you guys do subscribe, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.